I'm the nursing supervisor here. I've worked for the CSB approximately seven years. I manage the medication clinic as well as supervise all the nurses within the building. The Be Well program has been started up approximately two years ago. It's a grant from SAMHSA uh, which involves um, integrating primary health care into mental health services here. We are actually trying to take care of a, a, a whole person. Your depression is affected by your blood pressure and your diabetes, and stress and lack of sleep will affect your diabetes and your high blood pressure. You cannot take care of a whole person without in, uh, involving both, both aspects of people's lives. Push this out like this. Uh, this is what nursing is about, is trying to be at that nexus between those two things and trying to work with clients to improve their overall life. Uh, prior to this, a lot of times mental health was very focused on just on mental health and they were ignoring this other, these huge problems that a lot of our clients have, diabetes, high blood pressure. For nursing to be involved in this and to move this forward is just wonderful. I get a great deal of satisfaction doing that. I started with the PATH Homeless Outreach Program about a little over three and a half years ago. And I basically do outreach into the community looking for homeless people to assist in getting into housing. Hello, anybody out here? It's Rusty and Cindy. We're here with the outreach program. The primary people I'm looking for are those that are chronically homeless as well as having a mental health challenge. And if they meet those two criteria, those are the people that I'm gonna work very closely with, hopefully getting them to see a psychiatrist and maybe give them some medication if they're uh, to help stabilize them. And then work with, help them get other types of services such as SNAP, which is food stamps. I run a drop-in center two times a week where the, the homeless people would come and they have access to the showers that we have there. They can use our laundry services, which is a washer and dryer. Uh, we do have a nurse that comes in on Tuesdays. They can see the nurse if they'd like to for anything going on with them physically. And then we do have psychiatric services there as well too. These people are just real people. They're not people that are gonna hurt you. They, they're they looking to get their needs met. And it's very minute needs. They, they need food and shelter and clothing. I, I enjoy just sitting down and talking to them and listening to their stories. Well, right now I'm in a program called the Co-Occurring Disorders Program. It's really a recovery program for adults who have problems with substance abuse as well as mood instability and other psychiatric disorder symptom clusters. I've had the privilege to work in different programs with different teams and now they brought together alcohol and drug and mental health and there's a lot of cross-pollination and that's really exciting. And I also work as a supervisor for graduate interns and that's another thing that I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to do. I am a clinical social work intern here at the CSB um, and what I like most about this position is being able to engage with clients who are coming here for the first time, some who have already been here for a long period of time. Um, they're here, they're growing, uh, they're getting in touch with resources that they may not have had exposure to before and they're really building a support network. As an intern, I also do case management, and one of my clients was looking for employment, and so I was able to refer them to an employment specialist. I really got them motivated in looking for a position. They were able to recently receive a job opportunity, um, and they've started working, and that's really helped them to feel more confident and um, really helped reduce some of the anxiety that they feel that they, when they come into therapy and talk about it with the group. It made me feel really great knowing that I was able to help facilitate that process and motivate the client to be able to feel empowered and go out in the community and find a position that uh, fit their needs. What I like most about my job is being part of a team that I know is going to improve the quality of life for the community and we have the resources to do it. We're constantly teaching each other. They had a lot of staff meetings, team meetings. We share a commitment and a passion for the work that we do and all the resources we're getting. And pulling in different disciplines to see if you know something I don't know and what programs do you have that I didn't know about. So you're constantly evolving. The resources evolve, your perspective evolves. So I think there are, there's, it's an exciting place to work. I know there's a stigma uh, around mental health. I know a lot of people, because of that, will try to medicate themselves with drugs and alcohol, which is why this awareness of the, this co-occurring disorders is really people trying to help themselves in a way that's not helpful. 
but initially appears to be. I think that's we're here to help people cut through and realize that there's help. No one's going to be able to make a change until they can accept that they need assistance and they know that we're here. If you call entry and referral, if we can't help you, we'll provide you with resources or a source of education, but we're here to respond to needs of the community.